My hope is that by the time she's done with high school, women's hockey is in a di different place. Yours and mine in this state of hockey. Did you know only one woman has ever played in the NHL, and that was 30 years ago. But there is one girl from Orono, this one, who's hoping to change all that. She's already breaking barriers out on the ice right now. Jennifer Hoff introduces you to Lola Lemparski. In Minnesota, hockey season may have no end. But for Lola Lamparski, she's just getting started. Yeah. The 10-year-old plays for several teams, some girls and some boys, sometimes up to four games a day, but always the team goalie. If your goalie has a good game, then you're most likely to have a good game. Then it matters to be the best. She's played the sport since she was four. Her older brother, her inspiration. Yeah, I spend a ton of time at the rink. Her mom, her biggest cheerleader. We feel so blessed, and and frankly, Lola, Lola works harder than anybody on the ice. It only fitting then, her fierceness means she'll set a record first for Minnesota. Lola's the first girl from Minnesota to play in the brick. The brick. Canada's most famous youth hockey tournament, and it has been for three decades. Played right inside the Edmonton Mall. It attracts the best talent for 10 year olds. Billy Hengen's been Minnesota's head coach for five years, plucking 16 of the best players from all over the state. Minnetonka, Edina, Eden Prairie area. Including Orono, where Lola lives making her not only the team's first female, but first female goalie to play in that tournament. She's arguably our top goalie that we saw in the tryout. She's really won our coaching staff over. There are 14 total teams, Minnesota having never won it yet, but never before has someone like Lola been playing. My hope is that by the time she's done with high school, women's hockey is in a different place. So far, the Premier Hockey Federation is the only women's professional league that started in 2015 with now seven teams. Manon Rayom, still the only woman to ever play in the NHL back in 1992. Sometimes it matters to me as a girl because if you play with those boys now, then you could like come to their level and then you can play as the same level as when they like go into the NHL. Determined to be the best and poised to make a pathway for future generations on the ice. It's the funnest sport you'll ever play. The tournament starts in a little over two weeks on July 3rd and runs through the 9th. Beyond that, Lola says that she does have goals to play professional hockey one day in the NHL. Back to you.